Hello everybody. Today we'll be learning about PTE Academic Listening Module. And the question type is highlight correct summary. Now, what exactly is this question type? Well, let us listen to it. The PTE Highlight Correct Summary is a listening activity and it requires acute amount of focus. You have to listen and choose the best summary. Essential background information is this, that you will get one or two PTE Highlight Correct Summary tasks. The recordings are 30 to 90 seconds long. Let us understand how does it work. So I am going to give you some tips and then we will do some exercises. Tip number one, skim the options beforehand. Now the options are huge. So you have to be very fast when you do it. Listen with the intent of understanding. Just don't keep on listening for the keywords. You have to understand this. If you do not understand this, there's a problem. Take notes. It's very important to keep your pen, the, this marker there, to keep your marker and a paper ready with you. If you do not make notes, it is not possible for you to really recollect the information of what was given. Keep the options in the mind while listening. Use your visual memory. Visual memory works very well, which means that whenever you are writing down the correct option, in your mind, something should go on. This was option one. This was option two. This is what I'm visualizing. This is past tense. This is present. This is future. So it works that way. Confirm each option in the end. It is extremely important. Now, I am giving you this tape script here, and I'll play this audio. And this tape script will be spoken in the audio. So you can pause the video here. You can read the tape script. You can listen to it, rewind it, and do it again till you understand the essence of it. This is just for practice purposes, so do not worry. We're not running out of oil. The first thing one can say with absolute confidence is that we're not about to run out of oil. We're definitely not. But what we are approaching is the end of the first half. And, and this, is, this is one way to describe it. And this chapter in history lasted uh, about 150 years since the first oil was produced. And we're coming to the end of that. And you, you have to find oil before you can produce it. And when we look back in history, we can find that the peak of discovery was in 1964. And that the discovery of oil has been falling uh, ever since, relentlessly. Um, and it's been falling despite a worldwide search, always aimed at the biggest and best prospects. No one's looking for the smallest and the worst, the biggest and the best. It's been falling despite... Uh, amazing technological and geological advances. We understand this business so much more than we did. And finally, it's been falling despite a very happy economic environment whereby most of the cost of exploration uh, is written off against tax. So I would say, in view of all of those incentives and all of those benefits, if discovery has actually been falling relentlessly, uh, there is no good reason to think that this trend is going to change direction. So, in other words, we, we've passed the peak. Let us see the options now. Option A, unless major oil consumers invest in exploration now, which would be the first time major funds have been invested since 1964, global oil production will level out and be unable to meet increased demands from India and China. Now, look at this option. It's a huge option. It's not possible for you to remember this. Not only this, but there are three options more. It is not possible that you will be able to remember this. Okay, so he is talking about investments here. Then second one is talking about continuation of improvement in technology. Third one is talking about the past production, which was 40 years ago. And the fourth one is oil consumption has reached its peak in 1964. And then we are dependent on the oil. So pause the video here and see it for yourself. What do they actually mean? Because you will not be having so much of time in the real exam. Let us see the answer now. Do it again. See the answer. The answer is C. Why is it C? While we are not about to run out of oil, 
we are certainly past the peak of oil production, which occurred about 40 years ago. This is despite improvements in technology, geology, and with tax subsidized investments in exploration. You have to be very clear with what is the summary. Otherwise, you will be choosing the wrong option. Let us try one more. But this time, we will not see the tape script. We will simply hear the audio and we will see the question choices. Pause, think, take a breath, and then play and figure it out. All countries which are members of the United Nations may become members of WHO by accepting its constitution. Other countries may be admitted as members when their application has been approved by a simple majority vote of the World Health Assembly. Territories which are not responsible for the conduct of their international relations may be admitted as associate members upon application made on their behalf by the member or other authority responsible for their international relations. Members of WHO are grouped according to regional distribution. Let's see the options now. Now look at the options. They are huge again. Pause it here, option by option, read it, and finalize the right option. And the right option is D here. Let us read the D one. A simple majority of World Health Assembly is required for countries to be accepted as members. All countries that are members of the United Nations can become members of the WHO by adopting its constitution. The regional distribution is the criteria for a grouping of WHO members. Now, this is tough. This is not easy. Replay the whole video. You'll be in a much better condition. Thank you so much.